Eddie Halvey, the new cap from Shannon at the back of the Irish lineout. Gonzalez, Mel takes it. Session tidies. Gonzalez assists. Armory's in there as well. They've wrapped that ball up. And it's going to be difficult for Aaron to stop this. That's a great surge by the French. And they've kept on their feet and they've driven to within five meters of the Irish line. A Cochberry. This is Benazi. Well, Halvey gets him by one leg. Benazi's not too far away. The French a meter out. There's the drive. A Cochberry going himself when he had men outside him. Ireland concede the penalty. But they'll be happier with that rather than the try. leisurely stroke and this time it's good and with just over 25 minutes gone Emile and Tamak has put the French ahead by three points to nil and all that French pressure is just starting to pay off and the forwards are rumbling ominously great take by Davy Tweed again at the front I tell you there are younger men who played for Ireland in the second row but few better at this stage that's the miss move Mullen a little bit flat, he had no other option. Sadrini well positioned. Sadrini against Gagan. Frank Maynell. An outside Fulcher. It was put down by Kingston. And Maynell has made it available once again. Good work by the French centre and by the pack. Delay looking for the little flip. Benazzi on the charge. And Tamak. That's outside McBride. Sadrini at pace. A little chip and chase for Jean Luc Sadrini. Michael Bradley Allen, skipper, has to leg it back and right into the corner and uh, the French unpredictable as ever almost creating a try out of nothing whatsoever and Michael Bradley just cutting off the efforts of Jean-Luc Sadourny tremendous defensive play here but Jean-Luc Sadourny taking the ball he has got tremendous pace puts a death little kick in and here we'll see Michael Bradley making it to the touchdown tremendous work rate from the captain once again Eric Elwood has opted for the little hillock of sand the restart kick, all important. Clayton Thomas has a wee glance at the watch. So 44 minutes of this Five Nations game to go. Eric Elwood puts it high for his men to get under. That's a good kick, but it's taken by Olivier Merrill, and Bruzet's in right beside him. So the French starting well, a confident start by them. They're trying to crab in field to create uh, options on either side. And Ireland holding on, a little bit of nastiness there. This is Delague, and Tamak, who's in, gets half through the tackle. A Kush Berry. Califano, this uh, young bullocking prop forward. There's the drive again by Benetton, taken by Clossy. This is great stuff to leg. The Saint Andre who's come round from the wrong wing. He's outside Halvey. It's inside to Tamak, who's got the pace. It's one tackle. It's out to Delay. Delay a first try for France. And that's a glorious start to the second half by the French. And any thoughts of Ireland really holding them may well have evaporated. But what a blistering attack. 42 seconds into the second half and the French have come to Lansdowne Road in considerable style and this young fella is full man proud. Well, Philippe saint andres words at halftime must have had their effect because the French have come out in a very, very positive style. They've moved the ball, a couple of quick rocks. saint andre blistering pace, gets past two men, takes another one out and Tamak has delayed outside him over in the score unopposed. Again, the French with a good scrummage under the Irish post. No sign of it collapsing. The referee comes on. That's a drive, and it's over. And it's a try for Session. Mark Session right underneath the Irish post. It really was a splendid scrum. His ninth international try. He did it against Ireland in 92 at Parc de France. And Ireland now trailing by 13 points with almost 18 minutes played. But the French power play, especially from that scrum, all important. Yes, well, this is exactly what we didn't want to happen. Session sees the scrum is going to reel if it goes any further, picks up himself, and is over for the try. Right in front of the post, and uh, he shouldn't have too many problems with this. And this is going to make life even more difficult for the Irish. The flags go up. It's Ireland nil and France 15. And we've had 19 and a half minutes played. And uh, any chances of an Irish success now against the French looking for a first victory? for 12 years may well have gone it was a splendid scrum and look how the French front row stood up to Ireland and didn't let them collapse down on their knees they were the ball was rather slow coming back and Session with Benetton in behind him got over Terry Kingston seemingly recovered from uh, a rib injury a few minutes ago oh Tweed gets up beautifully Elwood 
Morris Field, lovely pop pass, Dennis McBride, Fields at Malone. Bradley, much better stuff by Allen, their best this series. Oh, clever kick by Morris Field. Has Gagan got the legs of Sand Andre? I believe he has, and he has got the try. A stunning piece of play and beautifully finished off by Simon Gagan, who goes in for his eighth international try and his first against the French, and he'll be happiest with that one. I've no single shadow of a doubt. 23 and a half minutes gone. Ireland back in this game, a long way to go. That was made by this rough ball. Big Powell again takes it on, tying up French defenders. A nice quick ball from Michael Bradley. Philip Danhart, Morrisfield, sees there's nothing on outside and puts in a beautiful kick. It's tremendous to have pace like that outside in Simon Gagan, and he beats Philippe San André, a real speed merchant himself, to the touchdown. Again, it was the Irish pack who really seemed to have found their second wind. Nicely moved by Danaher. Now, great vision by Morris Field. Saint Andre has been a top class sprinter, and Simon Gagan made him look like a slow coach. But there really is nobody more quickly into their running than Simon Gagan. So, Eric Elwood looking for his first uh, international points of the season, and this is his first game. The wrong side of the field for him. The flags go up, the roar goes up, and that is the old Eric Elwood. And Ireland back in this game with a vengeance. The game now in injury time. Guy Cochberry, well controlled by the French pack. Cession, well, the back row move was called, but nobody was there. They've won it again. Cochberry and Tamak, a lot of pace. Oh, wonderful. Inside one man, inside two. And Tamak with the final say. Staples holds him up. The French, to finish off in style, the referee says no. Five metres scrum, and, well, and Tamak did wonderfully well, but the Irish defence was very slack. The French section of the crowd booing. They thought the try was there. Yeah, Cosbury gets the ball, goes blind, and just cuts in off Nile Woods. And I think really that both teams know that this game's won by France and a little bit of laxness creeping into the Irish defence. And Ireland just managed to hold him up, ball off the ground, scrum five to, uh, to France. The French win it, Cochberry back inside to Ntamak going for it this time, he's over, and the referee says that this time is the try. And the French have finished off this game and finished off Ireland's chances, and Ntamak does it again for France. Well, Ntamak wasn't going to be denied a second time. Lovely channel one ball out to Cosabri, and he has a danger at the base of this scrum. Breaks outside Tamak, feeds it back inside, and you can see all the help from his back row in Benazi, Session, Benetton. Pull him over the line and get the try for him. Yeah, well done from uh, Olivier Merrill. That's uh, one thoroughbred to a donkey. That's a good kick. Halvey underneath, well taken in by Kingston. Ireland battling to the end. They've uh, contrived to lose that ball, it would seem. And France, I'm sure, will run it. And Tamak, good tackle by Halvey. Play on, says the referee. Uh, Koshberry held in by an Irishman. Merrill. Saint Andre, the skipper. Again, that wonderful change of pace. They can hop off either foot. So many of these French three quarters. Up to halfway. A Koshberry, Frank Maynell. Again, the change of pace. Nicely moved at Koshberry. The great Salah. Can't get outside Gagan. Sadrini certainly can. Well, once again, the French putting everything into the last couple of minutes of a game here at Lansdowne Road, to really to emphasise the difference in superiority. A Cochberry, that's moved nicely wide. Benetton and Tamak for another try. It's out to Saint-André. Woods puts him down well. Saint-André is still there. The tackle wasn't made good. The French still there. Benazi and Benetton, the two big men in the back row. Benetton trying to get over. Clayton Thomas, well positioned. Desperate Irish defence, that's the try. Saint-André, the skipper, has nipped in right at the end. And the French victory is complete. We see it a ruck formed here. Cossabry manages to get the, the ball away to Delague. Delague throws a long pass to Benetton. And Tamak has time and space. Gives the ball to the, the one-booted Philippe Saint-André. Hadn't really slowed him down, though. Saint-André is tackled and held. And you can see Benetton and Benazi both contrived to bring it closer to the Irish line. Cosbury in there again, and the captain goes over. Well, points difference keeps England above Scotland at the top of the Five Nations table. They now meet in a fortnight at Twickenham for the Grand Slam title and the championship per decider. And on the same afternoon in Cardiff, Wales and Ireland fight it out for the wooden spoon.